Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, back out here in the woods today, um, we've got a rainstorm coming in. So I've got to get my tarp set up, sleeping under just a tarp tonight, no tent. Um, we've got a couple other bushcraft ideas planned, um, but we're gonna see exactly what we're working with as far as time goes. So let's not waste any time because that rain is coming. Let's get into it. Unfortunately, people left some garbage back here. Um, this is a camping spot that people come to, so um, stuff like that's gonna happen. Luckily, we're not super far from the car, so I'll be able to get that stuff out of there. All right, so before I get too far here, I wanna get my tarp pegged out. It keeps threatening to rain and the weather seems real inconsistent. So I wanna make sure that I have like a super basic structure up and I wanna make sure I got the measurements right when I put that uh, raised bed down. Here's what we're doing. We're building a raised bed so that I'm not sleeping in water because we're supposedly supposed to get quite the rainstorm tonight. So I'm gonna get that tarp up we're already getting a little bit of drizzle here, so let's get to it. So I got it measured, it looks okay. I cannot build with this thing in the way here, but I also don't want my pack getting rained on. So we've got it wrapped up in the tarp right to the side and we'll get this raised bed going. Part of my issue is too, I'm working without an ax. I've had the darndest time trying to get that thing rehandled. I've bought two replacement handles and they don't fit. And I swear I'm measuring it right. Went to Harbor Freight, I went to Home Depot, I went to Lowe's. If you got a suggestions for me, let me know in the comments. It's a council tool, Hudson Bay ax. So 
So I'm making do with the machete. It's done okay so far. Okay, so the plan was to come in here and build a raised bed. It doesn't look like we're going to have time for that. The rain is setting in. I checked the weather forecast. I don't think we're going to have time for all this bushcrafting around. So we're going to have to just do our basic park setup that we wanted to do. Because that rain's coming in, and if I don't get something going, we're going to get wet here. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is lift this thing up. This will help with the back shape of the tarp and help the water roll off the back.
Well, that's not the worst thing in the world. I'm a little worried about water pooling on the top here. I don't know if I'm 100% satisfied with that, but um, I had to pull an audible and kind of hastily set it up in the rain. So, um, you know, that's the best we can do. I got, a, I got a little bit of a break in the rain. I mean, it's a drizzle, so it's not bad, but it is gonna pick up and it is gonna keep going into like the middle of the night. So if I don't get this fire established, I'm not gonna be able to. So that's going to have to be priority number one here. Now I could try processing up some firewood. Um, I could definitely do it. I've done it before. You've seen me do it in my other videos. Um, but I'm, since I'm pressed on time, I'm going to try to make these small twigs work because they're up off the ground. I do have that uh, Bigfoot bushcraft fire starter and those things are beastie at getting a fire started. We're gonna hope for the best, and if I have to process kindling, then I will.
fire is struggling a little bit, so I'm gonna process up some kindling for it.
All right. Well, I think after all that, we've earned a little bit of a sip. Off of the old banana flask. Cheers, YouTube. You didn't think I forgot the beer, did you? Today we've got a holiday special lager brewed with honey, molasses, and spices. That's a holiday special from Warp Wing Brewing Company. Tasty. I was a little worried about the spot, to be honest with you. In the back, it, it from the camera, it looks like the grade is coming in sharper than it is. It's really not slanting down like it, like it looks on camera. But I still wasn't 100% positive about the way this area would drain. And I don't want to wake up in a puddle. And I'm not scent camping this time. I got underneath there and everything looked super dry. It got a little wet before I had to tarp up that area. But every other place on the ground is drenched right now. So I've got an idea for how I'm gonna set this up for some extra precaution. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do right now. I brought my trusty cheap blue Home Depot tarp uh, that has proven to be very valuable for me. Um, that's my ground sheet, but I also flopped it over here. So just a little added assurance for my sleep system. I do notice an occasional drip here where it looks like water's pooling. So we're gonna see if we can tighten that out a little bit with an extra piece of terraform. Right in there is where you can see the water starting to pool. It's just making ever so slightly a little drip on the bottom. So we wanna make sure we take care of that. I do see that water pooling in the back there. Keep an eye on that. So far, I think what it's gonna do is it's gonna come down this way and exit over here, or maybe just to the back slowly and it hopefully it won't be a problem. Hey, uh, big thank you uh, to whoever stacked the big wood pile up over there. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm doing my best, but I'm having a rough go out here. Uh, <laughs> Camping in the rain. Big, big thank you to the, to whoever stacked that firewood up. It's, it's a tremendous help. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, bud.
for dinner tonight, we're doing spicy poblano with aged cheddar, creamy mac and cheese, some private selection, the uh, dominant grocery store um, in my area is called um, Kroger, and this is kind of like their nice sort of store brand. Then to go along with that, I've got some real bacon bits to mix in there. It's a little bit more of like a um, backpacking kind of a meal, but um, it definitely hits the spot. I love it, and I'm looking forward to it. Bacon, mac, and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That makes it all worth it. Good Lord. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get too much better than this. Oh, sound of rain on the tart. Nice big pot of bacon, mac and cheese. A holiday special from Warped Wing. And a little bit of a nightcap from Banana Flask. Mmm. Good stuff. Still working on that bullet bourbon. Oh, that really does hit the spot. I appreciate everybody coming with me so far. I got a little question that I is really on my mind. I wanted to pose this to who is ever tuning into the channel. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I'd love to know your number one favorite YouTuber that you watch. If you can't think of just one, tell me your top three. I'll say that mine fluctuate a bit, but I like the popular YouTubers. 
I really am a humongous fan of Steve Wallace. I've been watching his channel for a long time before he was doing stealth camps. There's always something fun to learn from Corporal's Corner. So I really enjoy that guy's channel too. And then there's a uh, past year or two, this guy's kind of really skyrocketed. His name is uh, Xander Budnick. He's just doing like wilderness stuff, canoe trips, but also bushcraft and seems to be a younger guy, but he's, um, I think he's in Northern Ontario, up in Canada there. So that's who I've been watching a lot of lately. I'd love to hear from you. Who's your favorite YouTuber? And if you can't pick one, tell me your top three. I'm gonna finish up this mac and cheese. Maybe have a beer or two more. And I think I'm gonna hit the hay. If there's anything left to film, I'll get back with you. If not, I'll see you in the morning. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Good morning, everybody. That was a pretty decent night's sleep. Stayed perfectly dry under here. I'm happy with how this all turned out. Breakfast. Sugar-free monster. I'm gonna get camp torn down. I'm not sure if I can film it because the wind is so crazy. <sighs> but let me have all of this and then um, get camp torn down and I'll check back with you in just a little bit here.
All right, we got camp torn down. We got all the trash to take with us here too. I had a blast, I hope you did too. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It's nice to see you again. I appreciate everybody watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.